It's time now for the Peter Channel. Let me have news report on this Tuesday. Morning Tuesday afternoon, March 3, 2016. Good morning and afternoon, buddy. I am Peter Wiggins. I am 11 a.m. News and on this late Tuesday morning going into Tuesday afternoon. Our top three at 11 a.m. is Kiowa, where an Egyptian man hijacked a passenger plane and forced it to land at a Lameca airport in Cyprus on Tuesday. An incident that Cyprus president said was related to a woman, not terrorism. The Supreme Court announced a tie vote today in what label are expected to uh, uh, call a life or death case for a public employee union. Weeks of contentious debate weighing privacy rights against the government's need to investigate tourism came to an end Monday when the FBI set up a way to gain access to Sead Rezron Burke's iPhone 5C. Washington police quickly shut down two Washington, D.C. streets in an entrance to the United States Congress Visitor Center on Monday while they investigated two suspicious packages left near the U.S. Indonesia just said Tuesday that 10 limited citizens being held hostage in the Philippines after the ship was hijacked enough to secure border region between the two countries. Last year, 12 years, Zuri's rider spoke out against a bounce in the world in the Chicago neighborhood. As boys shot in the back by a stray bullet after playing in the video for End the Chicago Violence. The vicious attacks on the Christians that celebrated in East Republic Park and Lower Pakistan seem to have confused the U.S. government. Taiwan is catching shots from Bieber as women praise in front of makeshift sure more for a girl who was kept in a random knife after the attack Monday. A Teresa cop was stabbed in the head Tuesday in Taipei one day after a young child was decapitated in a random nap attacks. Baghdad, at least four people were reportedly killed in 2022 injured by Tuesday by a suicide bombing in the Iraqi capital in Baghdad. Canada slaps new sanctions on Office 39. North Korea slash went for Kim Jong-un. Brussels, Brussels Airport CEO Arnold Feist said it could take months for the airport to operate at full capacity after recent Islamic State bombings. Seoul, North Korea launched a search outbreak missile express the territory according to South Korea military officials. Abuja, Nigeria, the Nigerian Army rescued 72 hostages during the search of Boko Haram and what they called clearance operations in the northeast of Nigeria. Nelsonville, Ohio, a convicted murderer escaped from our prison over the weekend has been captured. A New York nurse who took pictures of an unconscious patient turned her nursing license according to New York State Education Department. Boulder, Colorado, Vice President Joe Biden is coming to cover next week as part of a White House initiative to prevent campus sexual assaults. Travel was written on Interstate 540, Raleigh, North Carolina, a small plane landed near the interstate on Tuesday. Ever, Massachusetts, a cell phone boy, Oscar West, pleaded guilty to stealing thousands of dollars more for Julie from an alien desert customer in southeast of Massachusetts. The Sun Chronicle reported that 33-year-old Stacey Erickson pleaded guilty Monday in Ann Arbor to support on multiple counts of larceny in connection with a theft of bones in Naughton, Arbor, and Mansfield. The mother of three from Tottenham was sentenced to two years probation in order to continue his drug counseling. Boston and President Armenia has been in civil days and the Boston are visiting an Armenian and cultural religious act and made in state dignitaries. A political deal to raise capital at minimum wage trend. Nature lead at $15 an hour could help some. Workers' corporate estates question costs a living, but also the power of our low wage earners and jobs all together, as economists said, as Governor Jerry Brown said. Wall Street has lower on Tuesday as oil prices get in and invested with the weighted Federal Reserve Chair Jenny Young speech for cools on what they said to make main residential rates. Chicago Fitch raised on Monday downgrade Chicago credit, raining closer to junk signing last week's state Supreme Court ruling on what a law aimed at boosting the fund and for the student city's pension funds. Jenny did LLC in the Biden Valley Farmers and the International Free Market Lager candidate, and in the digital specific proprietary factors, trade ideas in Biden Valley Farmers too. In international such as such, the following. New York, concerns about U.S. monetary policy moves and ongoing supply side strains sent for crude oil prices plummeted in early trading Tuesday. Washington, which has been testing that the oil and gas sector in the Atlantic, and obviously, group called on Washington to make goods on clean energy pledges. San Francisco, $14 million operative by a Chinese led concert installed Starwood Hotels Pendant, Sell and Marriott International. And now, construction ties of the natural gas and renewable energy sectors have added contract barrels in Texas report from the Dallas Federal Reserve found. London, Chinese confirmation on coal consumption in the corresponding decline in carbon emissions may be off the market, journal study had found.
Okay, take a look at the sock now. Down 20 for 25 points. 75 for 7 point 14. SP power down 3 points, 7 points, 233 points, 35. That's a cup 8 points, 10 points, 4 points, 7 Earth's Arctic Control Chip Freezer may kidnap. Uh, Fewer ice cubes than there could be a problem for the Northern Hemisphere. Researchers at the National Zone at Data Center are warning. The Chamberlain has to a hot gas planet known as HC 80606B is shown in a simulation based on data from NASA's Fitzroy Space Telescope. Does the Japanese scientists and engineers are scrambling to save a satellite more than a quarter billion dollars investment in the Chamberlain under the control in, in space? Scientists have declared that the key ports of the Great Barrier Reef are at 5,000 miles long and the largest limb structure on the planet, according to Australia's Great Barrier Reef, the Marine Park, reported now, seeing the worst corral. Hackers crippled the computer system at a major hospital chain, meant to help incorporate one of the first record systems offline. The Biden administration may get any need for doctors and use anti injection drugs and fight against explosive epidemic of prescription drug and heroin abuse. Regarding the tax advantage, project, Product can also have a lower risk rate. Totally tax tobacco cigarettes, e cigarettes are actually cost higher than conventional cigarettes in most countries. New research has found. Characters by pharmaceuticals in COVID on Tuesday said it's directly treat iron deficiency, anemia, and chronic kidney disease patients not yet requiring dialysis, but goals of a late stage clinical trial potentially paving a way for expanded approval. Peter Jones is on 11 6 a.m. and it's down now for a spot support. Tonight, the Boston Bruins will be at New Jersey Tech on New Jersey Devils game time, 7 o'clock. Today, the Wheaton Lions men's basketball team will get a game at 3.30 p.m. against Clark University. In Bridgeport, Connecticut, Gene, you know, every man in the New York Con Huskies have been seen rolling past the NCAA tournament without much trouble at all. New York's next star, Carmel Anthony, was shocked when a young boy went out on the court Monday night and gave him a hug during supper's play late in the fourth quarter of 99 and when lost to the Pelicans in New Orleans. Port St. Lucie Fordham, New York 8, Men's 8, Matt Huffington's Gopher, opening day and Sunday against the Kansas City Royals after a scare regarding the union track. NFL owners are pushing back after a top official acknowledged a link between the football and brain trauma. That message by Jeff Mill, NFL Executive Vice President of Player Health and Safety, a link between chronic trauma and cephaly. Peter Challenge is on, 11 7 a.m. on this early, late Tuesday morning, going into Tuesday afternoon. Time now, a Trevor Report. Me! Let's. Study off down in Rhode Island, where? Let's study off in Rhode Island, where is it? Looking at the highways and byways, the ocean state, except for one train on both ends of Newport Bridge, it's a little slow. Out of the Cape, Route 6 Lunar from 7 to Donald, Lane 20 Lunar from Board to Falmouth. Board and Sequoia Bridge is all looking good on Route 3 on. Route 3 and South Bend Tower an accident just before Route 53 in Hanover Mall, so expect some delays. On Route 3 and South between 220 in the Rockland, Route 53 in the Hanover. Route 3 in the North Bound side, a little slower at Union Street and Braintree. Route 120 in the North Bound side, a little slower at Pugwater Road in Canton. Southeast Express Express Round, both ends of the slow for the Dark Chester stretch. Mass back in the East Bound side, so many also brought tolls all the way out to Fenway Park. Store Drive on the West Bound side, it did slow from 93 in Boston all the way out to Boston University, 93 in the North. Store Drive on the East Bound side, it did slow from Back Bay all the way out to Route 93. But otherwise, Eastern Massachusetts Highway is not looking good. Up in New Hampshire, Route 3 on the southbound side is a little slow, but the Merrimack stretch, Mass Pack Interchange with 293.95, a little slow in Auburn, Massachusetts. 91 on the southbound side, it did slow around 291 in Springfield, Mass Pack on the westbound side, slow after I 91 in Chick Bay. Down in Hartford, I 84 in the eastbound side, it's a little slow for the Newtown stretch. Wilbur Cross Park River, westbound side, so over the westbound stretch. 95 on the southbound side, a little so over the Norfolk stretch. 95 on the northbound side, so over the Fairfield stretch. 95 on the northbound side, a little so before Route 9 and Old Sabre Old Lime stretch. Down in New York City. Down in New York City, Lincoln Tunnel, it's slow. Home Tunnel, the westbound side, it is slow. FDR Drive on the northbound side, a little so around the Williamsburg Bridge. West Side Highway, so between Hell's Kitchen and Lower Manhattan. 278 on the eastbound side, so from Browns and Arrows Bridge, all the way out to the Brooklyn Bridge. Brooklyn Queens Bridge on both ends, also around the Lion Expressway, Lion Expressway, the eastbound side, also from the Grand Central Parkway. Four Stills on the Grand Central Parkway, southbound side, also from Four Stills. Lion Expressway, the westbound side, so from Cross Island Parkway, drive to 295 in Queens. 
Belt Parkway East Bound Side Rolls after 278 in Brooklyn. Browns and Nerds Bridge on the West Bound Side of this old 278 on the West Bound Side. So send it down all you have to New Jersey Turnpike. Jersey Turnpike Rolls around Route 3 in East Rutherford, New Jersey, near the Meadowlands. George Washington Bridge on the North Bound Side of this old. 95 on the North Bound Side of the between the 87 and Bronx River Parkway. 95 on the South Bound Side of this old from 678 all the way up to the Bronx River Parkway. I-87 on the North Bound Side of the from 278 all the way up to the Yankee Stadium. FDR driving the North Bound Side of the from Midtown all the way up to Harlem. New York State Freeway on the East Bound Side of its slow between 890 and Shenectady and West Beard. But otherwise, looking good from New York all the way out to the Pennsylvania border. But otherwise, all the highways in Vermont and Rapture may not looking good except for 395 on the West Bound Side. A little so random. Bang, bang, stretch right, Route 95. Okay, look at MBTA alert. Very they are looking good on the subway. Subway it is looking good and on the commuter rail. Worcester train 518 10 40 a.m. in the Browns at the Department Worcester Station is operating 2025 20, minutes beyond schedule to track work. Free bus train 075 10 30 a.m. at the Browns at the South Station is operating 5 to 10 minutes beyond schedule to a mechanical issue. And Department train 805 9 55 a.m. from South Station is now operating 5 to 10 minutes beyond schedule between Hyde Park and Providence due to an Amtrak train traffic. Peter Tell News, I'm 11 11 on this. Tuesday morning, going into Tuesday afternoon, and then it's time now for a weather report. We are under wind advisory until 2 p.m. Eastern daylight time this afternoon, located to Coastal Dallas, Southern New England. Wind is northwest at 15 25 miles per hour, up to 50 miles per hour. Time and sun winds are going to expect to continue by early afternoon Tuesday. Spiral tree limbs and branches may be down, possibly causing that scattered power outages and driving challenges will be in morning rush, especially for hyper power vehicles. I'm wind advisory issue when the same with our forecast will be free when we die. Mild gusts will be range between 46 and 57 miles. The winds are strong to keep it down some small tree limbs and branches and possibly cause an isolated path. The driving also be difficult, especially for high profile vehicles. And day one, day nine. Wind advisory. Day two for seven. Wednesday for Monday. No other weather expected at a time. Okay, seven day forecast. And if in the power outages that cause them due to the wind, 210 customers in the north with natural grid with no power. 127 of them are in. 126 of them are up in Wenham and around the North Shore, which are 151 customers. For a total of 210 customers are up. For National Grid, Eversource, 86 customers in the dark. Seven day forecast goes like this for today. And the rest of the afternoon, most of the skies are about 53 degrees. No, first one about 18 miles of gust size, 45 miles an hour. For today, cruise skies about 30 degrees. No, first one about 6 to 10 miles of gust size, 29 miles an hour. For Sunday, for Wednesday, the skies about 54 degrees. No, first one about 5 to 10 miles of gust size, and southwest in the afternoon. What's that? Parkhouse got about 39 degrees. South was about 11 miles to outside, 24 miles an hour. For Thursday, most of got about 39 degrees. To 69 degrees, breeze in South was about 13, 23 miles to outside, 27 miles an hour. For Thursday, Shadows like me up to 10 p.m. Class got about 55 degrees. Chest Bay should save percent for Friday, Shadows like me before 5 p.m. Class got about 63 degrees, and Chest Bay should save percent. By that, Chest Bay Shadows before 11 p.m. Most class got about 43 degrees, Chest Bay should save percent. Saturday, parts of the podcast got about 55, about 34 degrees. Sunday, most of the most skies got about 42 by 21 degrees. Breezy skies on Monday. Sun skies about 40 degrees. Currently, and not near, it is 50 degrees of podcast skies. We're going to be 44%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel 11 a.m. news report on this. So, they wanted March 29th, 2016. Have a good afternoon, a good passage. I'll see you for an evening report. Follow the baseball game. Have a good afternoon.